In this quick lesson, I'll show you how to find the derivative of piecewise functions. I have two examples prepared for you. And in both examples, you're given a piecewise function and you're expected to find the derivative at a certain value if it exists. To answer these questions successfully, two conditions must hold true in sequence. The first being that the piecewise function is continuous at the point of interest, in this case where x is equal to zero. If the first condition passes, then the second condition says that the derivatives must also be continuous. To test for continuity of the function, we'll substitute zero into the first part where we get zero to the power of two minus one, that outputs to negative one. In the second part, we have zero plus one and that outputs to positive one. Because negative one and positive one do not agree, then this function isn't continuous at zero and therefore its derivative doesn't exist at zero either. So don't waste your time taking the derivative of each of these parts because there's no point. Let's move on to question number two. Again, the same concept applies. Let's substitute zero into each of these parts. Substituting zero into this part, we end up with zero. Substituting zero into these two terms sums up to zero. And the last part is equal to zero. Because the first part of the function is equal to the second part of the function, and that's equal to the third part of the function, then this function is continuous at zero. We can move on to the next step of taking the derivative of each of these parts. Let's take the derivative of that first part. Taking the derivative of that is 2x. Substituting zero into this derivative gives us an output of zero. Taking the derivative of the second part is equal to 3x squared plus one. Substituting zero into this x gives us an output of positive one. And lastly, taking the derivative of this constant zero gives us zero. Notice how they're not all the same. So the derivative isn't continuous at zero. This means that the derivative does not exist. If they were all the same, then the opposite is true. And not just for the first derivative, but for any higher derivative as well. 